This week on Fighting Fraud with AARP Connecticut. Criminals setting their sights on veterans. We're being targeted. Um, there is no shame that's associated with that. We just want to make sure that each veteran and, and their military family are prepared with ways on how to fight back. We give you three red flags to look for when it comes to these devious schemes. Then, rewriting the narrative. Veterans deserve honor and respect. They have fought for us, and so now it's our turn to fight for them. How AARP is helping everyone cope with the aftermath of fraud. And criminals using the complicated world of benefits to manipulate former members of the military. I myself have been targeted. What the VA will never ask you to do. Plus, preying on the generous hearts of veterans. And lots of people wanted to contribute and I wanted to make sure that these soldiers were okay. But the scammers knew that. How criminals are following the headlines. Welcome to Fighting Fraud with AARP Connecticut. We have a really great show for you today. But first, I'd love to hear from you. Is there a certain scam that you would like us to spread awareness about? Comment below and we'll consider it for a future show. Today, we're talking about veterans being targeted by criminals. That's a topic that's near and dear to my heart because I myself am a veteran. But what do these specific fraudulent tactics include? Troy is in charge of our AARP Veterans and Military Families Initiative, and he's here to explain. Definition of a veteran scam is a scam that is specifically targeting veteran and military families. And this scammer is very unique. They're really focused on trying to obtain assets from a group or group of individuals that they are unable to get from other 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 individuals. So, so when I talk about that, we're talking about examples of like you know, like benefit buyout scams or fraudulent, you know, military updating military records. Those are sp specific to veterans and military families. So when we have those type of scams targeting veteran and military families, that is the definition of that veteran type scam. You know, there there's a tremendous amount of, of emotions that go through. The first thing that I think of when a veteran has been scammed is that this was someone who went through some of the exact same training that I did myself. This was someone that was, you know, we share some of those same experiences you know, we have a term in the military, we were in the foxhole together, you know, and to see that, and I feel that is that I wasn't there to protect them because that's, that's our sense. We have a sense of protection being in the military. So this is how I feel about it. And it just makes me want to work harder to share more education and resources to let folks know that, you know what, here at AARP, we are here to provide assistance and to make you aware so that you can be ready to fight back and protect yourselves from these scammers. We're so lucky to have an Army veteran like Troy here at AARP. Looking out for other veterans, he'll be back to talk about fraudulent tactics when it comes to benefits and red flags to look for. But first, Carol is here from the FTC to talk about fraudulent solicitations in the name of charities. About a year ago, there was uh, an explosion on a naval ship, and there were uh, uh, several soldiers were injured. Um, they all lost all of their belongings, and you know certainly uh, the Navy could help them in, in certain respects and was was taking care of certain things. But there were several charities, legitimate charities, set up to to try to um, help them with any extra expenses or or, or family um, needs or, or things like that. And lots of people wanted to contribute to that and. I wanted to make sure that these soldiers were okay. But the scammers knew that, and they set up a number of fake charities to try to take advantage of people's generosity, uh, of the affinity uh, with uh, the, the, the sailors, and, um, and to also follow those headlines. They knew it was in the news. They knew people were paying attention, and so they sort of went in and set those things up so that they could get in, cheat people, and then get out. With charity scams, you might see somebody claiming um, that uh, they've got a military background, they've got a veteran's background, and that uh, w the the charity that they're raising money for is, is going to go to help 
uh, injured service members or to help veterans that need help. Um, and, you know, they do that because they know you're going to let your guard down and you're going to want to do whatever you can to help out that situation. Next up, Troy is back to share some red flags to watch out for. You know, the, the three top red flags that if you hear this as a veteran or military family, immediately know that this is a scam. The first one is anyone reaching out and connecting you, connecting with you to say that you have to pay for your own um, service records from the, from, the, from the military. Absolutely, it's a scam. You never have to pay for that. Secondly, um, the v- uh, getting a phone call from the VA asking for your personal information that will never they will they'll, they will never ask that of you via mail you know or anything along those lines um and the va does not send anything to written claims claimants with jail or anything along those lines and then another flag is if someone reaches out or contacts you and wants immediate urgent action to be taken at this moment red flag everyone anything should not be urgent or has to be done right now, especially when it comes to your your service records and especially when it comes to your personal information. Anyone that's demanding that immediately, you know, on behalf of a veterans service organization or the VA or anything along those lines, more than likely it's a scam and you need to stop that phone call immediately to protect yourself. I like to share a, a three bullet thing with all the veterans to, to let them know if they feel pressure, if something's maybe not quite right in their head, maybe they're being told something, they're thinking this isn't quite right. They have to remember that they don't have to take action on it if someone's pressuring them. They need to, one, pause, two, breathe, and three, connect. Connect with a trusted resource. Uh, For veteran language, I'll use the term um, your battle buddy, the person that's in the fighting position with you. For those of us who have worked out of a foxhole before your battle buddy's got your six you can you can shut your eyes for a minute while your battle buddy's up while you reload whatever it is you need a battle buddy you need to pause two breathe and three connect you control it these scammers they don't happen to us we can happen to them if you pause breathe and connect and you talk to a trusted resource you'll know you'll be able to figure it out they can help check you and you, then you can report it to law enforcement we can take action on it A lot of these criminals don't know we're out there, but we are out there. And and we're a criminal's worst nightmare because once we get onto them, we can use the power of the courts to self-correct them. If if, if they can't resist doing criminal things and taking advantage of people, we'll help them. We'll help them through the force of the court and we'll set them straight. So pause, breathe, and connect. That's a theme I like to share. Thanks to both of you for that incredible information. Troy will be back in a bit to talk more about those complicated ways benefits are used in targeting veterans. I was one of those veterans that was targeted. And one thing to be aware of is that self-blame is very common when someone is targeted in any type of fraudulent encounter. Please remember, you are not to be blamed. These are professional criminals who are targeting people. They're the ones who deserve 100% of the blame. Next up, we're talking about rewriting the narrative around shame. AARP works with Volunteers of America on the AARP Fraud Watch Network VOA REST program. And it's a place where, where either someone who's fallen victim to a scam or their loved one can come uh, to get emotional support um, as they navigate through their experience. So um, if you or a loved one have experienced fraud or are struggling in its aftermath, you can go to AARP.org slash fraud support to learn more about our free peer uh, peer led sessions. They take place three days a week on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. And they are a safe space um, where you can talk to others going through the same thing that you are. And um, we're about to hit our two year mark with the program. So we're excited. I admire each person who attends our session because, you know, we know how hard it is to talk about what they're going through. Um, And, you know, people, the participants acknowledge in the sessions that they're experiencing every type of emotion out there. They're blaming themselves 
They, they feel ashamed and don't want to talk to other people. And they feel like the REST program offers them a safe space where we're not going to judge them. Um, in particular, we have a woman who's attended you know, most recently, I think probably around a dozen of our support group sessions. Um, and in the, the beginning when she joined, you know, she had said she wasn't eating, she wasn't sleeping, she was blaming herself. She's attended um, different sessions with different participants and different facilitators, but it's been incredible to see her growth. You know, she is at the point now where she's eating again. Um, she's uh, went to a gym at the encouragement of her boyfriend and she's made new friends now. And she, she finally feels like she doesn't need to remain isolated. Um, she knows that this is something that's going to be with her forever, but she no longer feels consumed with it 24 seven. And now she's at the point, she said, you know, I just want to be angry. I want to get over, you know, crying every time I talk about it. I want to be mad. And the last session that she participated in, she was mad. And the other participant who um, had lost about $60,000 in this game, he was mad. And so together they were talking about, you know, how can we change things? You know, I'm going to write to um, the financial institution where I took out the money. I'm going to, um, you know, write to so-and-so website to let them know what happened. And so that's been really great. So AARP offers a number of free resources available to veteran service members and their families to help them stay safe from scams and fraud. Um, one of these uh, programs is Operation Protect Veterans. It's a joint program between the AARP Fraud Watch Network and the United States Postal Inspection Service. And what this initiative does is it provides free resources and community programs so you can proactively spot scams. And we deliver helpful guidance uh, from our fraud specialists um, if you've been uh, targeted by a criminal. We started the Operation Protect Veterans campaign a few years ago when the inspection service partnered with AARP and we created pamphlets and we put them in over 30,000 postal service facilities across the nation as well as digital campaigns through our informed delivery service that uh, where Americans receive updates about their mail because we wanted to reach the general population as well as the veteran community. And we also spoke to over 600,000 Postal Service employees as part of this campaign, many of which are veterans. It's so very important for every one of you out there to know you are not alone. Help is available. Now Troy is back again to talk about one of the most common ways fraud is impacting veterans. It's through their benefits. You know, veterans and veterans, you know, when they're going out and, and fighting for our country, they are they have a propensity to get hurt and they, def they depend on these medical devices. So these scammers are keen to the big scams that are specific to the veteran. Many of them orient around the benefits that the veterans have earned through their service with the Veterans Administration. Um, and that could be tied to pensions that they may get from the VA where people will approach the veterans and offer them things surrounding some of these pensions. So one of the things they will do is they will pretend to be an official from the Veterans Administration. So they'll they'll call call a veteran, find out those answers, find out that they have a, a, a medical issue and need this equipment, and then that's where it starts. The relating starts, and once the relating starts, that's where the scam can happen. So I'll just give you a quick story. You know, I had a, a Vietnam vet who suffered a leg, a leg injury while in combat and needed to get a medical device. The scammer related with them, found out very uh, much information that they had trained, they had trained at the same fort. And then what happened was they wanted to verify information. So he verified his social security number. Uh, that was scam number one. Scam two was saying, hey, listen, I can get you this, this wonderful equipment to help you with your leg injury. What I'll do is that just give me your credit card. I need to go ahead and there's a processing fee for it, uh, $49.99 for the processing fee. 
but there was no processing fee. Um, that and that the equipment will come to you in a day or two or in forty eight hours. Well, what happened was this person was fraught was was taken back for almost ten thousand um, dollars, and also the identity was was taken as well. So I just urge, if it sounds too good to be true, it is. And if someone's contacting a veteran or military family about some type of medical medical equipment, I would hang up the phone and call your local VA uh, to find out and speak to a veteran service officers, officer. Scammers will use information like the DD Form 214, and military records, where did you go to basic training, uh, where was your advanced individual training, so that they can build a great rapport with you. Thank you so much for explaining, Troy. As a veteran of the Army, I really appreciate everything you're doing. Next up, Marine Corps veteran Carol Harris talks about the importance of having a battle buddy even after you served. I myself have been targeted. I, I get solicited for all sorts of things because I'm connected to the veteran community. They break down the barriers, the social barriers that normally exist through the service affinity. If they mention they're a Marine, I'm going to immediately love them because I love everything about the Marine Corps and what it represents as well as the rest of the branches. And then that sets you up to be scammed, you know, by uh, the, these un, unruless and scrupulous people here. And I said, you know what, there's something that we need to do here at AARP, things that we need to do across the country to make sure that we share out these type of scams so it doesn't happen to anyone else. You need help. You need a battle buddy. And it's tough. Navigating the Veterans Administration's um, process and procedure isn't always easy. I myself have used veteran benefits. I've received care through the VA. And I'm, I've been around the block a little while, and it's not always easy for me to navigate it. And I'm, I'm using effort, and, I, and I'm not going through uh, a post-traumatic stress. Now, my friends that are, it's even tougher for them. They need a battle buddy. They need to pause, breathe, and connect. And if a scammer got a hold of them, they could potentially get something done. And that's why it's happening. And that's why we have to have voice. That's why I appreciate AARP for putting word out into our community and watching out for our veterans and our general population. And I appreciate the fraud watching that work. It, it helps people. You know, when I found out that AARP had this Veteran and Military Families Initiative back about five five years ago and it was starting up, you know, I found it something very interesting that I wanted to be a part of, you know, protecting uh, veterans from fraud, making sure that we provide them caregiving resources, ensuring that we have a, a Veteran and Military Spouse Job Center so that they can re-career their skills to, to really sharpen their tool. And then lastly, connect, and most importantly, connecting them to earn benefits through the VA. So when I saw this, and, and now I get to lead that effort for the entire enterprise now, it's, a, it's truly an honor. Because you always look for, when we we're veterans, veterans are always looking for that second mission. And I found my second mission in life. Please share what you've learned today with everyone in your network, family, friends, and others. Because research shows that if you know about a scam, you're 80% less likely to engage with it. If you have been targeted, call AARP Fraud Watch Network Helpline at 877-908-3360. Together, we can catch these cons and flip the narrative when it comes to shame surrounding being a victim. Don't forget, there is help out there for you. Thank you for your service, and thank you so much for joining us today on Fighting Fraud with AARP Connecticut. Make sure to like and subscribe and check back for new episodes. Join us for events in your community. Go to aarp.org slash ctevents. Look for the Con Artist Playbook by AARP Connecticut.